Okay, so we got a big problem. I don't have a team right now in NBA 2K24, but with it being Thursday, we're gonna throw it back. To NBA 2K23, where we're gonna open invincible and endgame packs to build our team. Oh man, it's been a while since we've loaded this bad boy up. I remember it was supposed to be the GOAT of 2Ks because Jordan was on the cover. Let me know what do you rate this game out of 10 overall, and who was your favorite card in my team? I forget what my God Squad looks like, to be honest. Let's take a look. Oh, 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 oh. I had Taco Yao Ming, Wembenyama, Jokic, and KD on the starting lineup. Look at this bench. Every year we ask ourselves, how can 2K make it any worse? And they've made it worse every single time. Wemby might be at the three this year, but he's gonna find his way to either point guard or shooting guard in 2K24. You best believe that. But man, did they add an insane amount of end games and invincibles. I don't even know what they can do this year. They've already dropped 100 overalls. You know something's coming to chase those wallets but uh, right here we've got end games and invincibles now i just realized we actually cannot open these packs with mt because that was not a thing in 2k23 for opening boxes so we're gonna go by singles open a total of 13 packs which is gonna fill 13 spots on our lineup and whatever we get is whatever we get let's start with an invincible then i'll go to an end game now these aren't guaranteed dark matter pulls they're high odds but there's also potential for some bs flip all there's that dark matter glow and we've got the chance to take steve nash right here or whoever is behind this dark matter get us started hot man i want to see the heat who is that oh that's gonna be anthony davis the best part is he recently got a new all-star pink diamond card that's super tough that's a great start bro look at how bad the quick sell value was in 2k23 now to be fair they also have an auction house which balanced things out a lot now let's jump over into an end game pack will it be a dark matter or are we going to get finessed boom no glow so whoever this is we gotta add to the team anyways two options desmond bain or mitchell robinson I think Desmond Bain recently got a card from the next, so we're going to have to go with it. Not the best option. Eh, not exactly the best start to an endgame pack, but that's all right. Can the Invincibles stay blessing? Yes, they can. Dark Matter down the middle and a Fred Brown option, which I'm just going to go ahead and pass on. Whoever's behind this, we're taking. Ooh, the youngest MVP in NBA history. 99 overall Invincible Derrick Rose. I believe he's got a pink diamond right now in 2K24, so... I can make that work. Endgame has to hit on this one, right? Finally. Oh, back-to-back Dark Matters down the middle, too. Ruby, Dave Bing. Yo, I remember back in 2K18, I did a gameplay on an Amethyst Dave Bing, and he was so tough. And this looks like it's going to be one of the Ball Brothers. Yes, sir. That's going to be LaMelo Ball, who right now has a diamond card in 2K24. Okay, so we got ourselves some guards. These packs have honestly been better than I thought. I mean, we got the one dud with Desmond Bain, but overall, I've been pretty happy. And still, the Invincibles are giving guaranteed Dark Matters every time. These kind of odds are crazy to see, especially because I just finished watching Troy Dan open over 800 packs and not even pull the 100 Kareem or the Galaxy Opal LeBron or the Galaxy Opal Giannis. But this looks like it's going to be his airness himself, the main character of The Last Dance, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Oh, I remember this elemental card. It was one of the biggest trolls in 2K23. Oh, I just got some serious PTSD. Okay, so we're five packs in. Pack number six on the end game side. Boom, there's that glow and Joe Barry Carroll. Man, there were some crazy old head names in here. Is that who I think it is? Eastern? Small forward? Number 23 from Akron, Ohio. LeBron, Arrival, and James, AKA the king, baby. Somehow he finds a way onto all my squad builders every single time. And y'all already know he's got that Galaxy Opal. First Galaxy Opal on the team. Endgame LeBron quick sells for 3,000 MT. That, that is actual blasphemy. I gotta start writing most of these names down because I'm gonna forget, but we're back to Invincibles. Bro, has Invincibles hit every time? Are the Invincibles guaranteed packs? Did I not read that right? Okay, so we got RJ Hampton. He actually had a very nice next card in 2K22. That's when he was drafted, right? But right here, we got ourselves a bald man. The bald man. The NBA 2K24 cover. Except, is this even the Invincible? 
I think it's a troll. It is the troll Kobe Bryant. Back when the Invincible or Endgame one came out, if you saw the bald head, most people thought you got an insane pull. Nope, it was the highlight reel Kobe every single time. Nonetheless, y'all know we got a deadly Froby in 2K24. Welcome. Okay, so we're seven players in, which means we got six more spots. And Endgame is going to finesse me here with a Ruby and an Emerald. Please be decent. Luke Cornette or Tyron Lou? Uh. This right here is what we call a mid off. It doesn't matter who I pick because they're going straight to the reserves, but I'm going to go with Tyron Lou because he helped my boy LeBron win a championship. Not that this matters to any of you, but if you come back to 2K23, don't open the end game packs. The invincibles are better. This is a situation where galaxy opals aren't even glowing. So we got a choice between an amethyst and opal here. Will it be good? Jason Tatum or Jack Sigma? Hey, guess who else also has an opal in 2K24? Jason Tatum, who I haven't really had the chance to use like that, so this should be fun. Okay, so while the pack luck has been decent for us, we've got a bit of a situation. Anthony Davis is the only center eligible player we have so far. We need at least one more center eligible person if this lineup is gonna work. So we've got the Dark Matter Glow and we've got Matt Barnes. Uh, hold on this one is actually a big dub as well end game paul george i remember him being one of my favorite cards in 2k23 we are gonna go ahead and draft him here but if we get to the last pack and we still don't have a big we have to keep opening packs until any version of a big shows up so we really gotta hope that an invincible or end game pack comes through with a demon that isn't kareem because obviously we don't have kareem in 2k24 i'm not testing my pack luck Kyle Anderson and whoever's behind here. We have three more spots in our lineup and it looks like we've got ourselves that big man, DeMarcus Cousins. Now I know he's got a card in 2K24. It's either a diamond or an amethyst. I don't remember, but honestly, it's better than nothing. I'll take it. We got two more spots here on the lineup. Can we clutch up? Bro, end games don't shake. They literally are a scam, so it's an emerald or a diamond. Diamond is a good sign where it could be a decent current player, but let's see. LeBron and OG Ananobi. You know what? I already have LeBron, so we've got to go with OG. He's got an amethyst card, which I'm just going to have to make work, but it could have been worse, I guess. Final pack is going to be the invincibles that have been so good to us. Show me something crazy to finish it off, and I'm not going to see a shake for the final pack. It's going to be... Shay Gilgis Alexander, another man who just so happens to have, you know, a Galaxy Opal in 2K24. That actually ended up being clutch. Oh my goodness, but man, are those endgame packs a scam? All right, so I think we put together a fairly decent unit, man. Take a look at the squad. Now, the starting lineup is elite. Shea, Kobe, Tatum, Braun, and Anthony Davis off the bench. We got Derrick Rose, Jordan, you know, the Bulls duo. Paul George is awesome, but our front court is struggling, man. OG and DeMarcus Cousins. Those are horrible backups. I can't lie. Then we got Desmond Bain, LaMelo Ball, Tyron Lou sitting on the bench coaching the rest of the team. Listen, the team is good. It's not great, but I still think we can go out there and make some noise. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into a game and let's see what this 2K23 team can do. Let's get into it. Damn, this guy's played 220 games of Unlimited. Boys, we might be finished, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. AD, get to the basket. What you walking for? Damn. Throw it here. Good defense there, Brown. We got the ball back. All right, come on. Let's hustle up the court. I know we got it. Tatum, 4-3. Get us started, baby. Give me all three of those. Now, on the bright side, he doesn't have Wemby at center or anything, so we can make that work. Oh, my goodness. Trying to move the ball around. AD gets open for three, and he's going to knock it down as well. We kind of got lucky there. I feel like we high key got to put on a show. So pick and roll that. Thank you. Throwing lobs. Oh, right on Julius Randle's head. I wish it was a poster animation, though. A Jalen Brunson user. This man is a true Knicks fan. Jason Tatum open for three once again, though. Hey, man. On the catch and shoot, Tatum is amazing. The only thing that sucks about him is that awful leaner. Let's go right back into that pick and roll. It's been working really well. Hit that screen. Yes, sir. Lobbing again. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Come here, come here. Fade away. You're not guarding that. Let's go, Kobe. Everyone is making Cat his child right now. You gotta call LeBron dad from now on. Huh? Nice rebound there, Shay. Come on. 
Let's keep pushing the pace. He's in that square button. You know where we going? To AD. In transition, he's got the dunk. Honestly, we're, I'm glad we didn't run into like a Wembenyama or Joel Embiid because AD can match with Carl Anthony Towns pretty well. I'm not going to lie to you, though. I don't know how much our bench is actually going to play. Cross that up. Thank you. Oh, to the basket. Hey, signature LeBron James dunk. I'm probably going to try to get my bench in here while we have the lead. Swing it. LeBron James for three. He's going to knock it down. So why not bring in Paul George and these other guys to have fun now? Nice rebound. Come on. Where are we going? He's in that square button. Because once he hits that square button, there's no more defense in front of me. Kobe. I know I'm probably going to regret it, but we got the full bench in here. DeMarcus Cousins, OG, everybody. We're going to see how that goes. He's got Pink Diamond, Devin Booker. Hit that screen to the basket. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Talk about a mismatch right here. DeMarcus Cousins on the fadeaway. That's easy money. Give me that. Good defense, Jordan. Oh, my goodness. The reaction time. OG, one more swing. Oh, he goes for the personal foul. Scott, you want to go on tour and trash talk me? That's fine. Hit that screen. To the basket again. Can I draw a foul? Yes, I can. We got lucky there. That's that Michael Jordan whistle. But I don't know if you guys have seen. I think it's Scotty Pippen, Horace Grant, and um, I forget the last guy. But they're going on tour to pretty much just talk about how inaccurate the last dance was when it came to a lot of their stories oh og's getting put in a blender oh my goodness he actually got the stop that's insane come on run big boy demarcus in transition they can't stop us he's gonna pass it og that's why you're a defensive of the year play i can't even talk right now let me go ahead and dog this man real quick hit the screen yup demarcus dimer me mama oh that would have been crazy though Come on, PG. Come on, PG. I know you don't like that, Devin Booker. Y'all got beef. Show me. Hey. OG at the four has definitely been interesting to say the least. Catch, shoot. That jumper is actually a good speed, though, Melo. You got to pay attention there, man. Push the pace. Ah, get off me, Scotty. Bro, there was nobody to guard me there. With the left hand, too? That's crazy. I'm there with Jordan. Thank you. That's a steal. Jordan is an insane defensive player. Oh, is that OG? In transition, don't get blocked. Ooh, let's go. All right, I'm going to get my starters back in here. Here comes the three-point play. Everyone switch everything. Throw it inside. No. Am I there? Oh, Shea didn't even put a hand up. Hit that screen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. We lead in with Shea Gilgis Alexander. Three of those. Tatum. Yes, sir. Oh, that's not a block. Yo, this Carl Anthony Towns. He's a problem to deal with. I don't have that Galaxy Opal. I would like to try him at some point. Nice cross. Euro step. Ah, ah. They fouled me and we got some free throws. But uh, no, like I was saying, Carl Anthony Towns, that card looks like he's actually solid. Him and Miles Turner, I don't have either of them. And they look like they're a ton of fun. But I just saw what's supposed to come out for content tomorrow. And that just looks crazy. I mean, 2K. Wait for the floor to space a little bit. Hit that screen. Yes, sir. You know where I'm going. I'm throwing lobs on Carl Anthony Towns' head. Like I said, LeBron is your father. Good D. That fadeaway's not working, and now we got 10 seconds to make something happen with a real fader. Pump fake. He's jumping. Leaning left. Oh, Kobe. How is that early? Oh, got him. AD. <laughs> you should see AD's leaner, honestly. It's so nice. He's one of the most underrated pink diamonds in the game. And just like that, we got ourselves a five-point game. Thank you for reaching. Oh, yeah, Kobe. Stay leaning, my boy. Stay leaning. I'm going to screen left, but go to the right. Cross, thank you. Oh, that did not work out at all. There we go. AD's got the midi, though. Oh, my goodness. We're so blessed. All right, man. So, big GG's to my opponent, but the 2K23 team is just too nice. Y'all can see Kobe was our leading scorer, but honestly, everyone was getting touches. I mean, damn near everyone that was on the court scored the ball except for Derrick Rose, and I completely forgot about Desmond Bain. So, for you Bain fans, I apologize. Same thing goes for LaMelo. I honestly should have thrown in Tyron Lu just for the trolls at the end there, but the game was getting a little too close for my comfort. But overall, man, this 2K23 team got it done. I always end up with LeBron James in all my squad builders that I might damn near have to ban him on the next one just in case. But he was doing it. Three steals and a block. I mean, he was Mr. Defense. With that being said, though, let me know in the comments, how would y'all like to see me build my team next? Some crazy content coming out this weekend that I can't even talk about right now. It's, it's mind-blowing, and it involves Kobe. We're just going to have to see how things go this weekend. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome weekend. Hope you all have an awesome day. Whatever time you're watching this, take it easy and take care.